So Boruto Two Blue Vortex Chapter Eight has fully gotten leaked and has gotten fully translated. So I thought this would be a good time to give you guys my initial thoughts on the chapter right after reading it. And we did react to the raw scans on live like yesterday. So if you wasn't that live, just leave a comment down below so I know you was there. And I know a lot of people were asking about the Discord. Look, I left the Discord link down below in the description. I'ma say it early in the video so there's no confusion. If you guys want to join the sub Discord, it's down below in the description. But anyway, chapter 8 was probably one of the more interesting chapters I've read so far. Honestly, I'ma say it's probably the best well-rounded chapter because it feels like it has a perfect mix of dialogue and action. It's not too much action, it's not too much dialogue, it's actually perfect. And we got a lot of new topics to go over in videos later on this month and some very interesting plot twists that was mentioned at the end of the chapter and some good fights that could lead on to that as well. Of course, I'm not going to cover the entire chapter because I still have a full chapter review to do that's going to drop on the 20th. So if you guys want to watch my chapter 8 review, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the post notifications because it's going to be a good one. But let's hop into the more interesting things I've noticed about this chapter. So it looks like I was correct about Kawaki wanting to confront Boruto again right after he woke up and kind of like chasing after Mitsuki and Boruto. But I already knew Boruto and Mitsuki were too far away from the village for Kawaki to send some by himself, so he would need Ada and her Senrigan to properly track Boruto. And this is where things get a little bit interesting. So Kawaki made an effort to contact Shikamaru and tell him that they have found Boruto's location. In which Shikamaru tells him to like basically calm down, calm down, relax, he is way out of your league now. It's gonna take more than a Kawaki and Delta surprise attack to take him down but Kawaki just doesn't listen. And it's at that point, Boruto leaves with his flying Rajin. I don't know where he went. He probably went back to Kashin Koji, but the fact that Boruto did this leaves Shikamaru in a very bad position because Kawaki stated that Boruto shouldn't have felt his presence because Kawaki didn't feel Boruto's presence before he got to the location that Ada told him they was at. So Kawaki is a little bit suspicious and thinks of Shikamaru that he may be cooperating with Boruto and giving him inside information. And this is exactly what I was afraid of. I said in one video, which I'm going to link right here, if Kawaki somehow finds that Shikamaru is working with Boruto, then by all means, Kawaki has every right to get rid of Shikamaru. Kawaki is a type of person who would do anything it takes to get what he wants and to fulfill his goal. Whether it's ethical or non-ethical, he does not care. So let's say he can't just seal Shikamaru in the Daikokuta dimension, or even worse, to cut off that source of information for Boruto. Kawaki's main objective is to unalive Boruto. Unaliving Boruto, he believes will save Naruto, who he's sworn to protect. So Shikamaru getting in the middle of that is not looking good for him. But something like that will have to unfortunately wait, because it looks like Kawaki has his hands full the Shinju are starting to invade Konoha. And initially, I thought it was going to be all the Shinju, but it turns out, for right now, it's only going to be Jura and Hidari, which is kind of good news because all of the Shinju together is bad news for Konoha. Even Jura by himself is just straight overkill. I mean, look at the aura right here, man. They not only entered Konoha through the front door, where he was easily sensed by the sensory unit, they just did not care. And it's also interesting that Hidari was confirmed to be Sasuke, but the other one was negative. That means his chakra signature is completely foreign to Konoha. Now this is very important because as we know, we spent the last like two, three months trying to find out the real identity of Jura. And it looks like it's not Kawaki. And even though Jigen's chakra signature was never registered in the Konoha system, they would still recognize him because he'd been in Konoha before. So this means Jura can actually be somebody else, which probably means that Jura isn't Kawaki, but the embodiment of the Ten Tails itself. That is the true identity of Jura. And I think this chapter supplied us with enough information to comfortably believe that. And it's also funny that I knew Konoha would just throw some generic Jonin at the Shinju just to power scale him. And yeah, the, the fight went about how I expected it to go. So no surprises there. <laughs> Konoha versus the Shinju is already looking like a masterpiece. Right off the back, we see Kawaki trying to attack him and it didn't end up so good. But I can say this, the reaction time and speed of the Shinju 
is almost scary. Hidari just effortlessly just dodging Kawaki's chakra rods, and Jura reacting to Sukuna Hikona so easy. It's just crazy. These things are not to be played with. And the result of them being so fast, uh, yeah, yeah, Kawaki's gonna be out of the fight for a minute. I'm not gonna lie. But obviously, that's not even the best part of the chapter. So Jera and Hidari sense Naruto Uzumaki, or who they think is Naruto Uzumaki, because of the biju within him. But we all know Naruto doesn't possess Kurama anymore. But surprisingly enough, the chakra that they were sensing led him right to Himawari, which whom they mistaken for Naruto Uzumaki. So this makes two times somebody was really interested in Himawari. First Damon and now the Shinju. And it looks like we know why now. But I have to save that for a video. Finally, I can give Himawari her own solo video. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, but I haven't had the reason to. But now we have a reason. And we're gonna do a deep dive on Himawari to find out why she has the chakra of the Biju. And if you wanna share your ideas or anything that you feel, leave that in the comment section below because I'm interested in seeing what you guys think. But overall, chapter eight felt like the beginning of something amazing. The Shinju Invasion arc is going to be one of the best arcs in the whole Boruto series. Because not only are we gonna learn something very good about Himawari in the next upcoming chapters, but it looks like Sanjur and Hidari are here, and Team 10 is also there, and we all know, um, it's pretty much wraps at this point. But we can't forget, Sarada is on her way with Sumire to face off against the Shinju right now. So we're gonna see her fight. We're gonna see Sarada actually go all out soon. And there's probably a 95% chance, I'm not even gonna say 95, there's a 100% chance that Boruto pulls up against the Shinju. Because not only does he have to protect Sarada against the Shinju, whom he promised Sasuke he would look after. Because let's keep it a buck, Sarada by herself will lose against Jura and Hidari, but he has to protect his little sister. So yeah, Boruto's not gonna let nothing happen to his little sister. He's going to pull up. And since Sarada is already marked with the Flying Raijin seal, Boruto and Sarada versus Jura and Hidari might happen as soon as next chapter. Like I said, we're in for peak. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just went over the rest of the spoilers for chapter eight. Like I said, the full chapter review will be out on the 20th, the same day the chapter officially releases in the US. Don't forget to support the official release, bro. Don't forget that. Let's support Kishimoto and Ikimoto for working so hard on this. Go to Manga Plus and read the full chapter when it comes out. And yeah, chapter eight is looking like a W and a lot of videos are gonna be released this month. So I hope you guys are prepared. And if you guys wanna see all the videos, and it's gonna be a lot of videos, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and comment down below. Also, tell me what videos you guys wanna see from me, man. I'm always open to that. If you guys wanna see me do any type of video, I'm always open for recommendations. So let me know in the comment section. But without further ado, I'm out. Peace.